With an unusually mild start to the winter season, some East Coast ski resorts have had a rocky start, and as there's every possibility difficult snow conditions could persist for years, might a focus on providing a year-round ultra-exclusive experience for skiers be the answer to keeping ski resorts profitable? Jim Barnes, founder and president of luxury ski resort The Hermitage Club in Dover, Vermont, joins us now to discuss. Welcome, Jim. Great to have you here. Hi. So tell us a little bit more about the Hermitage Club. It's a members-only private mountain, correct? That's correct. And what we really try to do is make things easy for you when you go skiing. So no one likes long lift lines. No one likes crowds. We make it very easy. So your, your valet brings your skis out to you. We have a high-speed bubble chair with a heated seat that takes you to the top in 5 minutes and 52 seconds. You get off and there's no crowds. It sounds like just my speed. Now, what other things, what other unique offerings do you have there? We have just about everything. When you come into the clubhouse, there's a full service spa. There's a movie theater for the kids with a bowling alley. Wow. There's also a locker for everybody with a heater in it so it dries your boots out. Sounds great. Now, obviously, this is private and ultra exclusive. So what's it going to cost a family of four? It costs $75,000 to join. It's like a country club, mm -hmm. and the dues are $6,500 a year. Okay. And that includes all our year-round activities. We have boating in the summertime with lake boats, ski boats. We have equestrian uh, zip lines. We even have a kid's summer camp, so it's really a year-round event. We also have a, a, a full golf course as well. Wow, and so that covers that covers all the golf fees and everything, or are there additional fees for that sort of thing? That really covers everything. Wow. Your, your spa treatments and mm -hmm. maybe uh, snowmobile tours, things like that are extra. Other than that, it's included. And where do most of your members come from? Are they all around the East Coast in Canada? Yeah, the majority are New York, Boston, Central Connecticut, some from Wilmington, Delaware. We have our own airport, so you can fly into the Deerfield Valley Airport. Very, very convenient. Now, how long have you been in the skiing business, and what made you decide in the face of sort of the difficult weather conditions we're facing now, what made you decide that the time was to double down on ultra luxury? Well, it really happened about four years ago. We started with the Hermitage Inn, and then we expanded, and the opportunity to have this exclusive private club existed. So with that, we've now added eight boutique inns that are all within the area, so you can basically uh, become a guest there overnight, come use the club one time per year. Okay, great. So what is your plan then to hedge for the warmer weather that seems to be ahead? I mean, how do you make a luxury ski resort profitable if the winters continue to be this warm? Well, we do 100% snowmaking, so we think we're hedged that way. We have the latest and greatest snow guns up and down the mountain, but also we made it a year-round uh, location so that we have all these activities for summer, fall, and winter. Now, tell us a little bit more about that heated ski lift. That sounds unique. I don't think I've ever heard about something like that before. It's the only one like it. It, it, it. Each seat heats up when you come around the turnstile. You hop on, six passengers, the bubble comes down, and it just whisks you to the top. Are there any other ski resorts that have things like this? Uh, there's one out west. Very, very neat. So you're obviously bullish on ski resorts. Is there anything in the outlook that worries you? Well, you know, we have 100% snowmaking, so it doesn't mm -hmm. really worry us. It's just the cold weather. And now we have, right now, about 75% of our slopes open. So, right. Uh, and we have a lot more than that. Uh, we have you know, sleigh rides, tubing, skating, all kinds of indoor activities. It sounds great. And how's it growing? How's it growing? Is membership on the rise? We have over 750 members now, this being our fourth year, and we expect to add another 400 this year. And you do have plans to continue to grow and expand, correct? You're building some more condos or? Yeah, yes. Well, uh, our property encompasses about 1,400 acres, so we have permits to build over 500 homes, townhomes, et cetera. Right. Uh, but it's, uh, you know, the idea is to keep it limited. There's only 1,500 uh, members that can join the club. So that way assures no lift lines and no crowds. There's a cap, so you never have to wait. That's right. I love it. Jim Barnes, thank you so much for coming and telling thank us you. about it.